our dispatch received a call that a suspect was armed with a pistol and had shot several students. We responded. We were able to get into the building quick enough to where we actually took custody of the suspect. He was disarmed and he was taken into custody by our officer. Um, we're able to do that. We're able to deploy all of our security systems that we have in place to notify the university that we did have an active shooter on campus at this time. Urging the community, I can confirm that, yes. So we had two fatalities, we have three that are in critical condition and one that is not. It was going to be a concert at, um, uh, at our football stadium with uh, Waka Flocka. And Chief, okay. what's the rest of the night look like as far as the investigation goes? It's an all-nighter. It's going to be something that's very in-depth, and because it involves that, you know, our building, you know, it's just something that takes time. It's going to be methodical, much like the search we conducted of the, in, in clearing the entire campus. It was methodical. It was a joint effort from all uh, law enforcement agencies that were present. Uh, again, I can't thank CMPD enough to make sure that they were out here to assist us directly as we went building by building to clear every building on campus. We made sure that they're clear. We have, we do have students that can go back to their res hall rooms because you know we, we feel sure that, that that is safe. And so what we're trying to do is reconnect students so that they can go back there. Um, at some later date, obviously, we're going to allow students a much later date, not not tonight, to be able to retrieve laptops and think books, things of that nature that they need. Um, but that's something that we're working on. That's an ongoing effort and it's going to go on for a while.